Hi guys, it's Skyrick, and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're going to be finishing up our environmental merit badge. So, I only have two things left for our environmental merit badge. It says you can either make photography of it, but I'm going to make something way funner. I'm going to make a video about this. So, what I have to make a video about is basically a erosion on soil. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to place all the big rocks in here to simulate like the bedrock and sandstone and all the layers. Then, we're going to take this pot put it at the top and basically it's going to be like a pond and we're going to fill it with water then we're going to fill out the rest with dirt and put these little trees in to make it more realistic and what we're going to do is we're going to put a bunch of water in it and it's going to overspill. This mirror badge is taking me way too long to do even though it should enough. So let's get started. It's cute. It's a heart rock. So what I'm doing is I'm placing it all down to simulate the bedrock. Look, it's another heart rock. My family must have something for heart rocks. So here I just put in my lake and I have to have something hard so that I'm able to kind of knock it over and so the water will spill out. You can see we have a lot of different kind of coal rocks, and they'll, many of the rocks in actual nature will erode, but since these ones are hard and it's just a little bit of water, they won't erode. All right, this is taking me way too long. I'm just gonna take the box and dump them. You guys should go check out my other video about rocks eroding when I was a Cub Scout. Look, here's a fossil. So our goal here is to cover all the rocks. Well, you might ask why why are we covering all the rocks and where all where is all this dirt coming from? Well, the all the dirt is basically coming from erosion and from decomposing like plants and trees and all that stuff. Now we're going to go put our trees in here. We're probably going to crumple some moss up here, make it just as realistic as possible. So let's go get our trees. up to make the moss. Then we're going to dump some rocks. So now it's time to simulate the erosion. So where does the water come from? You ask, it comes from rainfall. Since it's on top of mountain, all the water gets pushed downwards. Or it could be on top of ice. Now, all the ice melts on a nearby mountain. Now it's time to go turn on the rain. So I'm only going to turn it on a little bit because I don't want like it all to come crashing down, but I want to simulate erosion. So what we're doing is we're creating our pond and it's going to go overflow and it's all going to go down the mountain. And what it's going to do is it's going to form its own path. Now it's just time to wait. Waterfalls. So we're kind of directing it somewhat. So erosion kind of is like it creates its own path, it finds the weakest spot, and it basically plows through it and makes its own paths. So this, you can see the pond, it's overflowing by rainfall, and it kind of broke through. You can See here, it kind of went astray, but we had to um, patch it back up and put it on its right track. But when, it, when we put it on its right track, it found a weak spot, a weak spot, and it came through and basically made its own paths. So 
now that we've turned off the hose and everything has dried up, it's all created its path and the water is pretty clear. So now we're going to turn the hose back on and we're going to simulate that uh, another storm has come and it's all going to fall in here and it's all going to make its way down. Now that the new storm has came, you see all the dried up dirt, it's all gotten a lot, a lot darker and the new storm is basically following, the rainfall is following in the same path as the first storm made. And it's uh, taking a lot of dirt with it. Now that two storms have came by, you can see that this, the storm or the erosion has brought it all the, basically all the way down to the rocks. And it's basically torn up every single piece of dirt that was, that's in its path. So this is the first type of erosion. So basically what erosion is, is it starts from the top of the mountain, all the rainfall comes down, it sweeps down the mountain, it takes pretty much everything in its path. Dirt, trees, bushes, logs, but the stronger stuff and heavier stuff, like rocks, stays. So basically it sweeps through and takes everything with it. So now we're going to simulate the second part of this, an oil spill. So we're going to take olive oil, we're going to dump it in here, and then put a dye and kind of like make it dark. And then we're going to place it back in the thing and just see what happens. This is vegetable oil, so it won't be, it won't harm nature. to simulate an oil spill. So we have a train here. There's a tr railroad that was built nearby it, and it's going. It's The train's moving, but then it comes off and crashes down into the water, and it explodes, and all the oil explodes out from it. Now, since this train crashed and it exploded, and all the oil was dumped into the rainfall, all the oil that goes in it will kill all the living animals and plants that it basically touches. It will basically poison them and it kill it. As you can see, the olive oil is sleep lurking in the water. So when birds come down to sit in the water, it will get all the oil on it and it will make them unable to walk or fly. It will stick to them and it will just be really bad for the environment. So this is actually pretty sad what's happening to nature when oil spills like this happen. It basically takes everything and kills it all that it touches. And I think that it's really important if we all learn about it and ways to, we all work together on ways how to prevent this from happening. And this was a pretty fun experiment that I did, building the terrain to seam the erosion and then what would happen to oil spills. So guys, this is about the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please like, please subscribe, and also please comment. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Hi guys, gotta go. Welcome back. <laughs> Peter's like, what you doing, guys? <laughs> Hi guys, gotta go. Welcome back to... Uh, oh, I forgot. And then you're gonna pick it up? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out right. to you. Go. Look, here's a fossil. All right, one more time. Look, here's a fossil. You can put it down so I can see it. Oh, where did it go? Oh.